Here's a virtual tour of my work. Thank you for checking it out. Assemblage piece. This is a technique I've been using in my studio lately where I take um, old paint peels from old paintings and palettes and uh, collage with them. And I do some of these abstract uh, comic strip concepts in my work. So there's, you'll see some of that as we go. Um, this is a theremin player uh, at a show in DC. Here's another one of these assemblage pieces. Um, this one's a little bit more rudimentary maybe. It's got a lot of chunks of found objects too. And then these uh, little funky comic strips. It's um, sort of a loose portrait riff on uh, a singer that I like. Um, I've changed a lot of the details, but uh, that was the inspiration. So there's a song lyric that's sort of connected to her on there. Uh, another one of these paint assemblage things. A little bit of paint here and there. A tiny bit of it here. You know, it, it, it's sort of, it's, I try and make it subtle in some and less subtle in others. And I use a lot of these uh, pieces with words. I just, I kind of like words. I'm, I come from comics, so that, fun for me. It's more pop. You can you can laugh and it can also be sad at the same time. Here they're, I call them smalls. They're sort of conceptual. Again, uh, abstract comics, some portraiture, a lot of musicians, uh, a lot of different uh, attitudes. Um, a, lot of, a lot of strange comic strip stuff in there. Uh, there's a mouse with a bazooka. You know, some I, some I think are a little bit more complete as they are. Some might just be sketches for future work, but um, this isn't stuff for sale yet, but this is uh, some comics I have in progress. Um, that's a whole, that's a whole nother story. I've got some bigger pieces here. Same idea, words and music. Doing some harmonizing. This one's got some paint peels, a little bit of found object stuff in it. And uh, again, another singer, but uh, very, very little actually resembles her anymore. It's just more the inspiration. These are more um, actually connected to musicians because I, this is work for them. This is an album cover. This is um, a portrait for, um, for a friend that I made. Again, another portrait um, for a friend. I did a few of them, and uh, this one I kept for myself because I, I just liked it. Uh, and here's one more. It's a, it's a very large portrait of a band that I, I hope to collaborate with in the future, and you never know what, what will happen. Um, I want to show you a few more things. What I'm known for is comics and, and mini comics and zines. Um, some comics are very sort of traditional panels, characters, not so much superheroes, but um, you get the idea. And then some of them are a little bit more abstract. This is um, a lot of my, my sketching for my sketchbook, and then I collage it together. It's got a silk screen cover, so it's it's pretty pretty tight. I like it. Zines about music again, but um, uh, they're they're mostly written word, not a whole lot of illustration. I do the silk screening for the covers though. And uh, there's there's another one, and here's another one. And I do this with a couple friends, so it's, um, it's a collaboration. Speaking of collaboration, I also do a bunch of collaboration zines. This one, these are both about movies, and this one's um, more of a political thing with a bunch, a bunch of friends. And um, this is pre pretty recent, Alternative Cats. Uh, this is a flip book. It's Reggie the Lovable Record Slob and uh, Hoop Analog and his record shop. And it is a copy of this, which is uh, a project that's made on recycled records uh, from thrift stores. And I've done a couple of these. And um, I create, I turn the, the musicians into these, these different characters, and I wrote a script connecting the records to each other. 